Coach Hanji, I don't think anybody's – you guys are pretty disappointed in talking to you. I thought you guys lost two tough matches there for true fourth and true second. What do you say to your guys after a tough performance like that? You had some bright spots, though. No, you definitely have bright spots, but you never get everything that you want. So you just got to – you got to be honest with yourselves. You got to reflect, you know, and be truthful with why we didn't win some of those close matches, why we did win some of those close matches. So, I go back to the drawing board, and we know that this is a tough conference, and the kids are going to show up prepared, and we got to do a better job. Walsh wins on one minute of riding time. Russell's a very not Walsh Walsh match, I guess I would say. He doesn't go catch and sink. He just wrestles solid, right? Something we've been working on with Chad. It's taken a long time because Chad likes to score. But against the higher level kids, he gets in bad positions trying to create points and loses matches sometimes because of that. Today was a big step forward for Chad, winning a match, being disciplined and, you know, uh, composed the whole time. When you look at, you know, losing that Dippery match, losing that JR match, those guys are guys, they've been in your program for five years, both oh, guys. That's a tough belt. It's a heartbreaker for those kids. I feel horrible for them. I hope they, you know, get a shot to get an at-large bid, but... It's never easy, you never want to leave it in the hands of the committee. So, uh, you know, they've worked their butts off this year and I, my heart breaks for them, but you know, we gotta hopefully get them a, a, a wild card. PJ looks like just an injured, like he's broken or something, man. He just doesn't look like the same guy. He's definitely a mere shell of himself, you know, and to put a, a finger completely on it, I don't know if I have that answer. There's just so many variables, like you said, he's just, you know, he's injured, It's tired it's you know who knows but unfortunately it didn't go well for him today you look at him you know that's gonna be hard for him to get a bit he's got a 500 record I mean, we get he was an all-american as a freshman 149 right, right. pounds but i don't know if the committee weighs that i don't think they I should i don't think they do I yeah don't think they and, do. and i don't think they should you know it's kind of the yeah. guys who've earned you know, it this year at the end of the day you gotta you gotta reflect on your career and be and look for positives and to be proud of he's got nothing to hang his head on yet didn't go well today for him but he's got a lot to look back on and be proud of. Uh, Walsh, I think that so many people slept on this guy. He can go in and he can knock off the big dogs at 165. He's going to have to be prepared because they're just as good as he is. So he's going to have to win 3-2 matches, 2-1 matches. He's going to have to be disciplined and ride tough and get out on bottom. So there's there's some serious challenges ahead of us, but he's, he's in the mix. He needs that Tommy Gant match. From, from 2016. It's in him, trust Winning me. solid against yep. really good guys. For sure. For That's, sure. If he can put together three or four of those, look out, right? Oh, absolutely, because Chad is a gamer, and Chad will show up when it matters, for sure. All right, Coach. You got anything else for me? Yep. Getting ready for 2018, or 19 EWLs already. All right, Coach. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Good luck to you guys. See you in Cleveland. Thanks, Seth.